This is CLS All in One, and today we're going to be making some porch railing. Uh, we have some railing that exists on the top of the porch here, but no railing going down the steps. So I'm going to make the railing with just 2x4s. A real simple design, uh, just using 2x4s and very inexpensive. So I'm going to start with installing the main vertical support for the bottom of the railing. I want my railing to be 36 inches above the step, so I'm going to use a 4 foot 2x4 and cut that to the perfect size later on. So I'm going to install the 2x4 at the beginning of the second step. And if you have an overhang on your steps, you're going to have to notch that out so your 2x4 fits flush. So I'm simply just going to trace where it needs to be cut by holding the board in place. Then I'm going to mark the other direction that's overhanging on the step. So here's a look at what I'm going to be cutting. I'm going to use my circular saw to cut one direction here. And then use my wood chisel to finish the cut. Now I'm able to mount my 2x4 flush at the bottom here. So I'm going to start with securing it with just one screw at the very bottom. Then I'm going to use my level to make sure it's plumb both directions. If your stairs aren't level, you may have to use a shim to get your vertical upright level. Once you have a level and in place, you're going to want to add at least four screws, two at the bottom and two at the top. So here's a look at it. This is going to be the main support for the bottom of the railing. Now I'm going to work on the top railing, but before I install this, I need to make some measurements. So on the vertical 2x4 we just installed, I'm going to measure from the top of the step up 32 inches and make a mark. Now I'm going to hold an 8 foot 2x4 in place with the overhang on both ends at the approximate angle I want the railing at, and I'm going to make the top edge even with the mark we just made and I'm going to use one screw at the bottom right now to secure it. Once the bottom's secure, you're going to want to use a tape measure and measure from the very front of the step on two different locations to make sure the board is the exact same height in both places. And the reason for doing this is so we can match the angle of the steps perfectly. Now we can secure our 2x4 to the outside of the top vertical post with one screw. Now I'm going to make a mark right here where I'm going to cut the bottom post and a mark here, I'm holding a level flush with the face of the very bottom step. And a mark right here where I'm going to cut the top railing. Now we're going to remove the 8 foot 2x4 we just put on so we can make our necessary cuts. We're going to start with cutting the vertical upright on the bottom. And you want to make sure to save this little cut piece. We're going to use that for some vertical uprights later in the project. Now we're going to cut our top piece of railing on the marks we just made and make sure when you make your cuts to write down what the angle is. Your saw is going to tell you what angle you're cutting at. That way we can keep track of what angles we need. Now I'm going to grab another 8 foot board and cut the end of it at that same angle and I'm going to use that for the bottom railing. Now it's time to secure the top piece of railing. We're going to use one screw to secure the bottom and then make sure the top is flush and use one screw up there. Once you got one screw on top and bottom go ahead and add an extra screw on the side of the top and one more screw at the bottom. So here's a quick look at what we've done so far. We have our very top piece of railing up and our vertical upright post at the bottom up. Now it's time to install the bottom support for the railing which we've already cut and we're going to match up one side flush with the upper support. Once that's flush we're going to make a mark at the bottom where it needs to be cut. So we're just going to cut that flush with our bottom upright vertical support. So I'm going to go ahead and chop off what I got marked there. Now I'm going to install that flush on the top of the stairs at the bottom of the railing here. And I'm going to use one screw to secure it to the bottom first, and then one at the top. Now we're going to add one more screw to the side at the top here, and one more screw at the bottom. And here's another look at what we've done so far. We got our top support for the railing and our bottom support for the railing. Now it's time to install another piece for the top railing. We're going to be holding an 8 foot 2x4 into place and we're going to make a mark at the very top here and we're going to make a mark at the very bottom here. And these cuts should match up to the same exact angles we were using earlier. Now we're going to install our very top support. We're going to use one screw to secure at the very top and then line up the bottom nice and flush and put one screw down there. Now we're going to add one screw every foot up the railing here. And at the very top we're going to secure it to our vertical upright post 
with a couple screws. Now it's time to cut our vertical slats. And what I've done is I've used that cutoff piece from earlier to cut off the top of a 2x4 here to get the right angle. So I got the top of this one cut now and it's about three and a half feet long. So now I'm going to hold it in position and now I'm going to mark the very back side here where it needs to be cut. Now I can use this as a template for the rest of my slats. And I'm going to space them about five inches apart and go all the way up with them there. So make your necessary measurements and find out how many slats you're going to need and cut that many. So once one's cut, I'm just going to use that to trace it onto another 2x4 and just keep repeating the process until I have all the slats I need. Now I'm going to use a tape measure so I can center my slats perfectly. Mark all the way up. Now I'm going to secure the top of one slat, use my level, make sure it's nice and level, then secure the bottom. So I'm going to use two screws at the top and bottom there and then keep repeating the process with the slats going all the way up. Once all your slats are in place, now I'm going to add screws to the very top here. So I'm going to put one screw through the very top railing and then through my slat. And I'm going to do that for every one of them. Okay, here's a look at it. We're all done. Uh, very simple design. I only used 2x4s to make this and it only took me a couple hours to make. And it's nice and sturdy. Well, thanks for watching. This is CLS All One. If you want to hear more from me, please like and subscribe.